Thomas, the famous engine. One day, the fat controller spoke to all the engines in the big station. John Fairley, a famous artist, is going to the railway to paint one of my engines. The painting will be put on shore and lots of people will see it. All the engines secretly hoped that Mr. Fairley would choose them. Being painted was a great honor. The engines wondered what their painting would be like. Crowds of people would come and admire them. Mr. Fairley could paint me as a hard-working little engine, said Percy excitedly, with my trucks in the yard. He'll want something striking, James said smugly, and you don't get much more striking than a splendid red engine like me. My painted shiny brass will look magnificent. Striking indeed, <laughs> chortled Gordon. He'll want to do a painting of me steaming along, fast and powerful. Something people can admire, and in your case, aspire to. It uh, would be nice to be painted with one of the smaller engines, said Edward humbly. He could paint me with a heavy goods train steaming through the countryside, Henry thought proudly. Just think how smart my shiny green paint would look. Thomas was busily shunting in the yard. He hoped he would be chosen too. Mr. Fairley could paint me as a busy little engine, he chuffed to himself. Soon Mr. Fairley arrived on the railway and began looking at all the engines. Everyone wanted to be chosen, but he could only paint one. Which would it be? Gordon, Henry, and James waited impatiently in the yard, trying to pose as impressively as possible. Percy meandered around pretending to marshal trucks into sidings, hoping he'd be noticed by Mr. Fairley. When Thomas arrived with Annie and Clarabel, he thought it a great joke when he saw the engines posing. Am I the only one doing any work today? <laughs> he chuckled as he prepared to go and shunt trucks to take to the mines. Mr. Fairley caught sight of Thomas and smiled. Hold on a minute, he called and stopped Thomas as he made his way to the yards. He turned to the fat controller. I'm uh, going to bed, Thomas, because uh, he is keen and busy. And he has, a, he has a cheeky face. Thomas was pleased. The next day, he stayed in the big station as the others steamed off for the day. Percy was going to do Thomas's work. He was looking forward to working with Annie and Clarabelle. Mr. Fairley told Thomas what to do. Back a bit, he said. Now, uh, keep quite still. Uh, don't move, Martha. Thomas had to stay still for hours while Mr. Fairley painted. He couldn't move at all. He felt very bored indeed. Thomas worried about his branch line. I hope Percy runs the trains to time, he thought. It wouldn't do if the passengers were late. He wouldn't wait to get back to work. It was a long, long, boring day for Thomas. But at last, Mr. Fairley's painting was finished. Yeah, thank you for your patience, Thomas. You've been uh, an excellent subject matter. Mr. Fairley turned his canvas to let Thomas see the finished painting. Thomas thought it looked splendid, but was glad it was all over. In the shed that night, Thomas couldn't wait to hear what the other engines had been up to. But the others wanted to hear about his day. What was it like being painted? asked Percy. Good fun? <laughs> it was alright, said Thomas, but not half as much fun as working on my own branch line. The star of the show. It was an important time on the Fat Controller's Railway. Saturday would mark the anniversary of the opening of Tidmouth Station, 
and to celebrate, the Fat Controller was holding a special open day on the railway. It was going to be an extra special celebration. We're going to replicate the days when Chidmouth Station was new, he told the engines. The staff and I are going to wear old-fashioned clothes and uniforms, and we're going to invite the passengers to do the same. Lady Hat had organised stalls on the platform to sell toffee apples, candy floss and drinks to the passengers. The engines were excited, and they had special jobs to do too. Gordon was to bring the special visitors from the mainland. Thomas was going to give rides with Annie and Clarabelle, and Henry was chosen to sit in the station so that people could climb into his cab and see how his controls worked. Edward was surprised when he arrived in the yard and saw the preparations. The men are giving me an extra special polish so the visitors can have their photo taken with me, boasted James. And I'm to give them a special shunting demonstration, Percy grinned, and he hurried away to practice. Um, did the fat controller mention anything I could do? Edward asked meekly. Not to me, said James. Edward puffed sadly away. He tried to be happy for the other engines as they chatted about their special jobs, but he wanted to be part of the celebrations more than anything. Saturday morning was bright and sunny. The drivers and firemen came extra early to start work and began washing and polishing the engines until their paint was shiny and their brasses were gleaming. All of them, except Edward. He watched sadly as they steamed out of the shed to start their work. I haven't been chosen for anything, he thought. Maybe the fat controller doesn't think I'm special at all. Just then, he heard a voice. Why isn't Edward ready? It demanded. He's next for a special wash and polish, sir. We wanted to give him the most time, seeing as he's the star of the show. Edward was shocked. Star of the show? Oh, it was meant to be a surprise, laughed the fat controller. You're one of the oldest engines on the railway, and by far one of the very best, too. He asked the workmen to hurry and have Edward ready in good time. Edward was pleased, and soon the men had him looking splendid. Your first job as star of the show is to take me to Tinbus Station, the fat controller told him. Then you'll run through the station and cut the red ribbon, and we'll start the celebrations. Edward puffed proudly into the station to a chorus of cheers and whistles, whilst a brass band played him in. He ran through the ribbon and gave a great celebratory blast of his whistle. He felt very proud. I declare this open day. Open, said the fat controller as he stepped from Edward's cab onto the platform. Three cheers for all the really useful engines. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Everyone shouted. The fat controller smiled and turned to Edward. Well done, Edward, he whispered. You truly are the star of the show.